Okay. Oh, okay. Why are black women the most imitated but least hated? So um, this is for like all around, like not just black on blacks, but, but you know, whites on blacks, Hispanics on blacks, Asians on blacks. So if you look at the statistics, 26% of black women is getting married, right? Uh, and that's just all in general. So with blacks, I think 93% uh, of black women is marrying black men. 89% of black men is marrying black women. When you look at other races, for example, if you look at like Hispanic culture or Asian culture or, or whatever, uh, e even sometimes the Caucasian culture, they do a lot of things to imitate what like black women is. Like, you know, they, they, they do they do the lip injections. They do the, you know what I'm saying? The, the, you, you know what I'm talking about. They, they, they do the ass injections. They do all that. But back when I was, I'm a, we, we 90s baby. We 90s baby. You know what I'm saying? I remember growing up, like the, the white girls was like, oh, I don't want to have a big, I don't want to have big lips. I don't want to have, and for not right. even all this stuff to get and look like us. So I want to know, like, what is your opinion on that? Like, why, 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 why do you think that black women are most imitated, but least dated? Oh, let me, hmm, how can I say this? I mean, if you black, period, you, your excellence. I feel like every culture has their, oh, how can I say it? Like every culture has their, their jazz to what is the, you know, what the makeup is of their culture. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So with, with sisters, like, it's just like, you, we come like that. You know what I mean? Like when we're born, that's just, it's just in us we're talented you know what i'm saying we're good looking we got the the body and everything like that but it's like okay so these other women they look at us this like you said that wasn't the style before um but it's just like we're fly we're what's in so they just have to some way you know try to get like us some kind of way tanning you know like you said lip injection yeah i forgot about uh, that tanning yeah yeah um it's just it's just the the want to to be a part of be a part of what we are you yeah. know what i'm saying it's just it goes down through so many levels yeah. it's like you can't help it it's like yeah. you can't help it yeah some some of them even go as far as to um they do something i don't know if it's like a reverse perm but it makes their hair like clear and curlier and like more coarse like um What's the lady's name that um I think she got arrested for lying to on, on to HBCUs for stealing scholarship? Uh, she turned out to be oh. Caucasian. She was saying she was black. I forgot her name. Rachel something. I forgot her name. I, it was it was huge like five six years ago. But uh, because everybody kept asking like like what are you doing to here? And she some type of perm. I don't I don't know nothing about these chemicals. I don't I don't use chemicals. Oh, wow. <laughs> so she wasn't think. black, but she, she was wasn't black. Oh, yes, okay. she she was walking around claiming to be like, and she would use like, um, she said she would go to get tans to make her skin darker, stuff like that. But she was claiming to be black, claiming to be mixed, going to HBCU, getting like the, the scholarship money, and then come to find out that this was I'm surprised you didn't hear about this. This is pretty big, a couple like five six years ago. This, this is really this is a huge. I feel I like I, I feel like I've seen an article or two, or yeah. seen like a picture of her, like a yeah. before and after. But I I don't know if that's the same lady. I, if I, I'll send you the picture because I can't remember her name. Rachel something. I can't remember her name. Ra 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 Rachel something. I, I thought this was something really, really good for me because um, I actually got this question from Madam Nowhere. Uh, I don't know if you, if you follow Madam Nowhere on YouTube. I've seen some of her interviews. Yeah. 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 So she she had uh, um she had this question, and so I, I thought it, I thought it was very interesting because um that, that is definitely something that I noticed. I don't I don't know why. I'm, well, I don't know why. I think. I think what it is is a lot of them want to be with black women, but not want to be with black women. You know what I mean? So they try to go with like, for example, um, a darker complexion Hispanic girl to tell her to get tanned, or you know what I'm saying? Because they're because of whatever reason. I, I think it's that. I think it's they're they're attract or sex. I think they're sexually attracted to black women, but I don't think they want to marry them, which is the reason why you don't see like stuff like that happening in masses. That's 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 what I, that's what I think it is. That's what I think it is, man. And so I don't, me personally, I don't like hearing stuff like that because I remember back when I first started grad school, um, we had finished the project on whatever we was doing. And um, I, I was, of course, I had to be the only black guy there. Uh, went, went to like a little house party, whatever that stuff that they was having. And so I was talking to the other guys and I was like, oh, you know, well, you know, I, I do, you know, 
I should, you know, I share my link with everybody. <laughs> I'm like, I do it. relationship advice on YouTube, that third, blah, 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 blah. So I'm asking all like the white and uh, um, white, it was uh, two white guys and an Asian guy. I'm like, yo, well, what, well, what are the chances of you dating seriously a black woman? And all three of them said that they wouldn't date a black woman. And then two of the, two of the white guys was like, oh, but I'll, I'll, I'll marry one. I'll, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll sleep, I'll sleep with one. And I'm like, okay, so she, she's good enough to sleep with, but you weren't in a serious committed relationship with? That doesn't make any sense. Because me personally, I've never had sex with a Caucasian girl, number one, and I have never dated seriously a Caucasian girl either. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to sit there and say, okay, well, white girls are good enough to sleep with, but I'm not going to eat them seriously. That, like, that, that, it doesn't make any sense. Like, you get what right. I'm saying? So I, I think it's that. They have a sexual attraction to them, um, to, to black women, but I don't think they see them as, like, a, a wifey, wifey type of wifey, wifey material. That, that's what I think it is, man. But either way, that I... That baffles I, me, though, because they had, like, that's down from like you know like slavery times for our people but it's like i still don't get the disconnect like you can be you know you can be intimate with with us but not want to take us on as you know commitment wise like i don't understand i don't understand where that that comes from yeah no they, they, they was they was serious they were serious about it too man it was just like no nah, i wouldn't i wouldn't date and i'm like well, why not? Oh no, it's just just not my thing. And da 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 da. Mind you, they're into interracial dating because they're like, yeah, I'll date an Indian girl, or I'll date this girl, I'll date that girl. I'm like, okay, so clearly you're into interracial dating, but what is it with black women that you're just like, no? Oh yeah, I'll sleep with them. I'm like, okay, well, why why wouldn't you want to get in a relationship with one then? If you if you, if you would trust your life and have you know nine times out of ten people nowadays they barely use condoms nowadays. So I'm like, all right, you gonna trust your life with her? But you wouldn't want to get in a serious criminal relationship with her? That that doesn't make any sense. I can't co-sign. I can't quote that. Me, I, I've never done any. Um, I, well, okay. I never had sex. <laughs> I never had sexual intercourse with a Caucasian girl, and I've never been in a serious committed relationship with a Caucasian girl either. You know what I'm saying? So I, I you, you will never hear me say something like that about like a white girl or or Asian. Oh, I'm sorry, Asian girls too. I, you won't hear me say anything about Asian girls like, oh, okay, no, nah, I would never date one, but I'll sleep with one. I'm like, bro, that's like extremely weird as hell. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. yeah. I feel like a part of it too, and thinking while you were, you know, while you were saying that, it's like you can't, I don't want to say you can't tell us what to do, but it's like once we've made our mind up and if we stand strong in something that we believe in, it's yeah. really hard to kind of, uh, it's hard to manipulate or move us away from, you know, what we feel is right. And I think those particular guys they probably are those type of people that would yeah. you know want to be either may maybe big possibility controlling or you know just have these tendencies that sister's not gonna put up with period yeah, yeah. you know no, that's, you got that's, boundaries that's, 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 yeah that's that that's, that's fact no, I, I never they always rub me the wrong way man like i i, I remember that and i mean it's, it's it's not the it's not really the first time i've heard that before but it was like the first time I had like a face-to-face -face interaction where we was in a closed setting. We right. Sit there and talk about it. So, because I, I'm, I'm, I was always curious about it, like as far as interpreting, because I always thought that either all in or you all out. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm kind of I'm Hispanic. So I don't know if I'm all out, but like I know for a fact for me, I see myself being in a serious community relationship. I see myself being married to a black woman. I don't see myself. I just, I just don't. I, I, I was telling to the other. I had another girl that I, that was on the Zoom call with my other homegirl Angie. I was telling her, I'm like, yo, like every time I've dreamt of having kids, every time I've dreamt of having daughters, I've always seen her as being like my complexion or darker. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I've never seen, I never had a dream of me having kids where my kids were light skin or or whatever. What they call it fair skin. I, I, don't, I don't like that word. But um, I, mm -hmm. I never dreamt of having it. Every time I dreamt of having daughters, I've always dreamt of having daughters. I never dreamt of having sons. I don't know why. So I'm like, yeah, that, that means I'm having a number girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, yeah, I've always just been having just straight black kids. I never dreamt of having mixed kids. But that's how I know for a fact. My daughters, hopefully I have a son, hopefully. But my, my daughters is going to be my complexion or darker than me. I know that for a fact. I know that for a fact. So. Right? Yeah. Wow. So yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Trust me. Yeah.